Yes, today is our anniversary. 20 years of our activity. Still a distinctive school of Aikido. What we do is addressing our inner human potential in a certain way to make it fulfilled. Generally, it can be called self-development, but this is actually a self-transformation process. I do not. You know, it went the wrong way very fast. I mean, Morihei Ushiba, as the founder of Aikido, had discovered the way, you know, and when declared with the name of Aikido, he made it an instrument. He made the launch. The rocket was aiming a certain target. And people made fireworks out of it. People like fireworks, you know. It is entertaining. It is like a space rocket has been launched and after a few seconds, fireworks. Some people came and saw a tool for developing dominative capabilities, a combat art, will defeat everybody with Aikido. Other people said, why not sport? We can make it a sport. Sport is good. Self-defense. It will be used in any way you want, but self-defense. It's okay. There is some kind of philosophy there but we will apply it our way. In our culture, it will work like this. It will be combat. It will be sport. Or play gentleman. Very kind and nice. Whatever we like. Actually, it was like that. And when, especially when, the recession of Aikido popularity started, Look what happened. Aikidoka is trying to make it attractive. Fancy styles, tricks, acrobatic, anything. Superpowers, super fitness. They have entertained everybody except for those people who would consider Aikido as the instrument of self-development. Now people have low chances to know that Aikido has other purpose, totally different from the combat sports or whatever. Being originated from a martial art, it has a different purpose. Aikido has its own importance. Other than martial arts, that's what I say. Without that purpose, Aikido does not exist. It is not surprising that when proving Aikido to be something it is not, it fails. It doesn't mean Aikido does not exist or it turned to be a bad martial art, or whatever. You demand from it and expect something different other than what it is. It means you cannot handle this instrument appropriately. And eventually, what we have is the final burst of fireworks. So it just went the wrong way from the moment it started spreading all over. Aikido became just an interpretation, not an instrument. This is what I mean. Interpretations, that's what people do. Aikido against karate. Aikido against boxing, that kind of motivation. You make Aikido fit certain goals. Then you have to make technical modifications trying to catch what you think is important. They call it practical. Otherwise, you do not understand what it is for. Well, realize you do not know what Aikido is about. But you may start figuring out or it will be just your fantasy, not Aikido practice. You know, you start from a settled logic and then you build on further, like your logic is unquestionable. 
It's not true. You are chasing your own tail. You would rather need a tool that would question your logic. And there is one that is there to show you the flaw of your logic. This is how your journey can start. <clears throat> the evolvement itself, I meant. Aikido's life cycle turned to be short. As an interpreted phenomenon, Aikido has a certain life cycle. It's because people play with it, twist it, make it the way they want and drop it, then go and play another game. It's always like that, a matter of interpretations to fit their current needs. The fashion is gone, the toy is gone. Somebody allowed that to happen, maybe. As to the community, I would say there have not been appropriately healthy processes that would nurture gathering of practitioners into the community. Fundamentally, it is because of the nature of egocentrism. Egocentrism and mortality, they go together. One thing causes the other. On the other hand, Aikido as an instrument exists forever. It is obsoleteness free. It is a tool which is always there waiting to be applied. It can have different manifestations, but it is not there to be modified, interpreted manipulated or in any way be twisted by your egocentrism. Let's say, if you take and twist it, it is already another thing. Keep it. Do whatever you want, but the value is gone. And more than that, the cure becomes poison. When you address to Aikido, you have to be ready to be twisted by Aikido. Of course, the practice has to be organized accordingly, but your attitude cannot be other than using Aikido as a tool for self-development, let's say. Aikido is addressing a certain dimension in you. Your inner seed will grow. It will be resisted by your egocentrism. You will have to build yourself on the resistance of these two forces, constantly Balancing yourself. Between them, you find your true self. Until you experience that, nothing else can be added. If you see something amazing, something that shakes your perception, you can see something, you can hear something. It attracts you in a special way. It scratches your nape, but you do not actually know how to respond to it. It just does not fit into your perception box. This is what happens when you experience the influence of something bigger than you. And this is what happens when you experience the true Aikido. But what do people do? You have to put it into your box. You have to put it onto your shelf and you have to do it immediately. This is what happens and you lose it all. So what is going on here? There are many things. Zanshin, which is readiness, understanding, attitude, marubashi, mortality, awareness, many things. But start with making Aikido your instrument. It doesn't fit into your box. It's okay. It should be this way. Relax. Allow Aikido to help you expand. This is the first thing I teach. Do not think you know. Do not try to think you know. Everybody is just like, I know, I know, I know. Or, okay, 
then what are you doing here? What are you aiming for? You already know. It makes you feel okay when you know. Everything is on your shelves. It makes you calm, at least. I understand. But this is the worst thing you can do to yourself. You came here to grow, to develop, to transform. I give you an instrument and you immediately refuse from it. So, make Aikido your instrument. Remind yourself that you are here to learn. The truth is that there is something bigger than you and you try to fit. You try to expand, not the opposite. So, do not forget about that. Do not refuse from such an amazing instrument. Yes, Aikido scratches the right spot. Of course, when the practice is organized accordingly, Aikido addresses certain dimension. There is a certain dimension in you, a divine seed, let's say, that people do not usually nurture. In general, people develop their natural cognitive abilities, but eventually, these are adaptive abilities, whatever complex they may be. What I call the Aiki mind is something different. Aikido is created to develop the inner dimension and make a person a developed, transformed, a full-fledged human being. The problem is that even if the practice is organized correctly, and the right spot is being scratched. The reaction to that is unconscious, chaotic, and unpredictable for themselves. People do not know how to react to that. That's the challenge. And this is actually where the problem becomes the opportunity. People, practitioners, may think they are ready, but when the right spot is being influenced, they may get irritated. Who knows? Usually, it's like that. They have no idea what is going on. So I think people have to be aware, at least. That's why I started speaking, doing lectures. Because people do not know what they're dealing with. They have to be prepared. Otherwise, do you know what the basic reaction to irritation is? Anger, refusal, denial. People naturally do not like to be confused. It is usually irritating. You have to be ready for certain processes in you, even if you do not understand them or expect them. And people naturally expect something. Expectations, you know. Refuse from that. And you may discover a new dimension in you. Earlier been entirely unapproached. Yes. Many people say it's nothing. It's not a big deal. It's okay. I just know how to apply this instrument and I can teach you. Of course, there are a lot of challenges. Misperception is the most cultivated. COVID-19 now, even gathering is problematic. But Aikido is always there. I believe in Aikido Renaissance. It can happen tomorrow. Many people can address to this instrument for self-development reasons. Maybe driven by higher self-awareness and search for meaning, not by a herd instinct or self-centered fantasies. Maybe it will happen in a hundred years and I will not be a witness, but it will happen in this form or another. Because Taijutsu, you know, 
the inner evolutionary forces are always demanding for a human being to upgrade. We need to evolve and we need instruments for that. Yes, maybe I do not look like a person you would listen to. I agree. Not old enough. Not of that culture you would expect, maybe. I have little chances, I know. But Aikido is not about age, sex, race, nation, or whatever. Have you heard of that? What is your interpretation of that? Aikido has opened to me, I'm sorry. I'm not guilty of that. You can ignore me, it's easy. Of course, I will not ignore you for the ultimate reasons. I will grow a beard starting from tomorrow. Or just wait, I will get older for sure. Or maybe I will not be here tomorrow. You can take advantage now. Anyway, thank you.